How would you like to stop your hair loss and get regrowth by a simple and proven method? In this video today, I want to share with you exact things I wish I had known back when times are so dark and I didn't know if I would be able to stop my hair loss. Hey, my name is Alex and I'm from Norway. I'm basically, I'm a guy who found out how to reverse hair loss. My secret was to never give up. I've been losing my hair since 2003, but I was able to regrow it all back again in 2014. And since 2014, I have prevented any more hair loss and keep my regrow. So in the next few minutes I will share with you how I was able to do it. If you wonder, that means the picture to the left, with full height of hair. And here are some of my old hair loss pictures. I had a diffuse hini, hair loss thinning pattern, and that means I was losing my hair on the crown and hairline. Compared to now, where I have been able to get full recovery. And here are some more of my hair loss pictures. And you can see that my, there was not much left of my hairline at that time. And I also gained some weight because of hair loss, because I basically was giving up of, uh, on every area of my life. And the hair loss was uh, impacting me big time. And some more pictures. I remember uh, at that time I would mostly stay at home and uh, not walk outside because I was just too anxious that people would notice my hair loss. And I avoided uh, social situations uh, and inter interaction with other people at all costs. So I stayed alone, I was lonely and sad all the time. Here's my hairline closed up, and you can see that uh, I was able to basically recover, I would say, almost uh, more than 90% of my hairline. And here are some other uh, more pictures of me. Uh, the first one is uh, without taking any treatment at all in October 2008. Uh, of course, at that time I had tried uh, different things like the hair lasers, um, scalp massages, oils, uh, supplements, diets, and so on, but nothing of, of it worked. So um, in October 2008, I finally started to get serious about my re hair loss and uh, find some other solutions. And the uh, next picture is from uh, me 2012, after four years with Finasteride. You can see that Finasteride did work for me. It did stop my hair fall, and it did thicken up my existing hair. But Finasteride do have limitations, and uh, it didn't take my hair to the next level like I have now nowadays in the last picture from my hair in 2019. So most experts will have said that it's not possible to regrow hair like I did, but I have proved that they are wrong. And here are some more pictures of me in different times. And basically what I want to do by showing them is that uh, give you some inspiration and motivate you to do something with your hair loss and show that it is possible to reverse it and uh, get uh, decent regrow. Here's my hair uh, two months ago after I had a haircut. You can see that uh, even now I have values here growing out and it's still improving even after more than five years. So this is a long-term solution, not a short-term fix and it do work and it has uh, nice results. So the reality is you're not alone in this. I was there once, but I was able to reverse it and get uh, full recovery, so it is possible. Okay, so here is what I'm going to cover today. What most men do wrong when they try to stop hair loss, a missing link behind male pattern baldness, the main reason why hair transplant fail, proven steps to take right now to stop hair loss. So here are some common perceptions about hair loss. DHT is responsible for male pattern baldness, solution in you with DHT. Only way to get back here is by hair transplant. What they don't talk about is that if one don't solve underlying issue behind hair loss, let's say it's DHT, and one takes a hair transplant, one can still keep losing hair, even after hair transplant. Do it all natural about diet and supplements? Well, it can work in very early stages of hair loss, but in most cases, uh, hair loss has become too advanced and guys uh, has waited too long to solve it, uh, then it won't be enough with just diet and supplements to do something about it. Topical oils can regrow hair, but topical oils can also mess up pH values in the scalp and it can lead to more hair loss, so one should be careful using them. Shampoos don't make a difference. Well, shampoos can actually help, but it depends on what kind of hair loss one is having on what kind of shampoos one is using. So for me, regrowing hair was life-changing. I felt like winning lottery, I got back my motivation, I became action taker, I finally felt worthy and self-confident, and I finally enjoyed to style my hair and look in the mirror. And best of all, feeling confident when people were taking pictures of me. I remember when I was losing hair, I always looked so awkward on those pictures because I was trying to hide away or uh, do something else or uh, 
I was feeling nervous when they were taking pictures. Of course, that impacted how we looked at them. So I was thinking about hair loss 80% of the time when I was having it. When I was uh, going to sleep, I was thinking about it. And I was, when I was waking up, I was thinking about hair loss. And even when I was in gym, I was thinking about hair loss. I could not focus to do my workout because of hair loss. So hair loss was impacting me in big time. And sad true in today's society, having hair is important. A movie stars has it, top celebrities. And full head of hair gives you better life. So does my method work for others? Yes, it does. And here is a secret behind my success. It is a missing link and it is inflammation and DHT. Uh, if one addresses those two factors together, one can get uh, results. But it's not just DHT, it's also inflammation. Here's my timeline after, after I finally understood how things are working. And you can see that after uh, five, five to six months, my hair regrow was improving rapid speed and it continued up to two years. So it is possible to get it back as I did. So can everyone get regrow? Most important factors is you still have something left on the scalp. If uh, DHT and inflammation has killed all hair follicles that you have on the scalp and hair loss has become too advanced and you have only sides or back uh, left this here, then it's most likely too late to do something about it. But if there's still something to do, to work on, then it is possible to reverse it. So how to know if your hair loss is caused by inflammation? If you are eating sugar uh, or junk food, you start to feel tension in your scalp. If you're doing sport activities and your scalp gets sweat, you feel discomfort. Your scalp is itchy and red by no reason. Your scalp is oily all the time. You feel some strange numbing or tension that just don't go away. You can easily pull out hair and some of them have yellowish plugs in the ends. Basically all those things uh, mean inflammation. And uh, sometimes it can be a combination of uh, different factors like uh, oily scalp, itchy scalp and uh, uh, having tension on the scalp or uh, redness or uh, other things. So uh, that's what makes uh, inflammation tricky to solve and to understand. So how did I solve my scalp inflammation? It was by diet, supplements and lifestyle change. And you may wonder when it's the right time to solve hair loss. Right time is always now because hair loss has a critical time factor. If one waits too long, it becomes more and more difficult to solve it. So uh, it becomes less and less hair to work on. And uh, like I mentioned before, uh, DHT and the inflammation eats up all hair follicles. And there basically is not enough of them to work on. So um, it is important to solve it solve it as fast as possible. So what I do is that I have men who struggle with itchy scalp and hair loss to get regrow by proven method. And right now I'm looking for more of my dream clients, guys who I can get massive results and get regrow for good. So who is this not for? Men who are having illness related to hair loss, men who don't have any hair left on the scalp, men who are not willing to do necessary steps to get regrow, men who are stuck in information gathering mode. One can do this hard way, like I did, uh, spend 10 years, uh, more than 10 years actually, to solve hair loss. But it is possible. Uh, cracking hair loss code is not easy, but it is possible. I was able to do it, so it is possible to do it. But it takes time, it takes efforts, it's a lot of frustration, and it's not always one is actually able to do it by himself. But one can do it the easy way, by getting help from someone who has done it himself. And I have done it, I've been there, I know how it works, it's basically a system. Underst uh, to understand how things uh, correlate each other, what's causing what, and so on. And we want to understand this, like I did, it is possible to solve it. So if you need help, I'm here to help you. And if you meet following criteria for limited time, I would like to personally work with you together in private consultation. And here's how the process works. First step is to fill out survey below this video for your free rapid regrowth session. After uh, we schedule a call uh, with my team, if you are a good fit and we are sure that we can help you, we tell you how it works and everything. A call with my team will take 45 minutes and you will clarify your direction and vision for your future here. So why consult with me about hair loss? I can give you support, I know what to do, I have been able to regrow myself, I have been able to help other guys with hair loss and get regrow. My method is easy to follow and execute. So next step is go below this video and uh, schedule a call with my team under uh, the link I have outlined down there. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers.